Hello, my name is Bodog. And I'm KP. Because he's nuts. This first video is just a little introduction so we can uh, tell you a little bit about ourselves, our first experiences with Final Fantasy and how we came to enjoy this mm -hmm. gargantuan game. Gargantuan? Oh, oh, oh yes. <laughs> um, so we're going to dive straight in with the, uh, the, the big question, mm -hmm. I suppose. Mm -hmm. How did we come to Final Fantasy and, more importantly, why Final Fantasy? Ooh, ooh. So, for me, for me, I've yeah. always grown up in quite a gaming household. Very nice. Both my mum and dad, I know, very lucky. Um, both my mum and dad very much into their games, um, and they'd get friends around and they'd play great games. It was usually like the horror games. Oh, right, yeah. So which, the, yeah, 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 which yeah. as a kid, burned some images in my well, mind. Probably <laughs> playing those. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But, I mean, it helped me grow into the man I am today. So it meant that that's kind of what I grew up with and I grew up yeah. playing games like the more easier games that were suited to kids like your Crash Bandicoots and your Spyro and stuff yeah. and then I came across Final Fantasy um, because my dad was playing it and I would watch him playing it and absolutely loved it I got so into it I thought it was brilliant um, and for me the reason why I then gravitate to them kind of games like the RPGs and stuff like that is because um, I'm quite dyslexic so it means, don't laugh. So yeah, I'm dyslexic. So it means I struggle, I really struggle with reading. Yeah. It's been something that, it's always been a case. Um, and it just means that I struggle to get through the story of a book because it just mechanically takes so much longer to do. So I then find I'm not able to connect enough with it. Whereas I found that gaming, especially RPGs that have got really solid stories, I was able to invest in that and be involved in it. And it felt like my kind of storytelling yeah. without the process of reading even though it's like a lot of them they have the subtitles and stuff like yeah, that it's yeah. um it's especially with those sort of <laughs> the earlier games with the japanese uh, uh yeah translation. yeah 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 the, <laughs> this guy are sick this guy are sick, this guy are sick. <laughs> what originally got me into gaming is i was locked out of my house when i was young when i was younger i don't know i think my parents might have been at work or something and i'd come home from school i'm not sure and i was looking at it, and it started raining my neighbors below were like oh Reese, do you want to we knew them they're like do you want to come in it's like this younger couple they do like, do you want to come in out of the rain and wait till your parents get home, wherever they were? I can't, I can't remember. I was very young. And they were like, oh, do you want to, do you want to play the Sega? <laughs> so I started playing the Sega Mega Drive, uh, playing Sonic. So that was my first experience with gaming, but it wasn't until I started playing Final Fantasy that I really entered this world of storytelling mm -hmm. and adventure. And I'd always loved, always loved reading. Mm. Especially like the sort the swords and the dragons, yeah, and yeah, the, yeah. the adventure and the hero and that. So, and I think Final Fantasy buys into that. Yeah, and yeah, it, yeah. It lets you sort of experience that. So now we're going to move on to our first Final Fantasy experience. What was the first mm. Final Fantasy game you played? <clears throat> oh, I, I'm a I'm a cliche Clive. My cliche, Clive. cliche Clive. You can have that one. Um, <laughs> TM. <laughs> um, Final Fantasy Seven. That was that was my main one. Um, again, like I said, I was watched my dad play it. Yeah, yeah. It was my dad played it, um, and I loved watching him play it. And I was invested in all these characters. And me, I can't remember how young I was, but I was quite young. Was loving life. I was like, wow, look at all these colours and these great characters. Look at these polygons. Exactly. And then three D. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Which we joke at the time. No, at the at time, time it was revolutionary. It yeah. was pretty epic. Yeah, it was yeah. pretty epic. Um, but yeah, I'm invested in this whole game and then suddenly, spoiler. Spoiler warning. She died. Oh. She got st stabbed. I like broke down for no, days. Yeah, it was, it was not unheard of, but it was, it was very unmainstream yeah. to yeah, have yeah, a yeah, main yeah. character yeah. die. Most of the games I'd, pl I'd played up until that point had been a bandicoot running around hitting some boxes yeah. or a dragon like setting some green people on fire like that was it that was the depth no one ever died so yeah that was watching my dad play it so when i got older i picked it up myself yeah. and i was because my dad never completed it actually ironically he ended up watching me play it <laughs> yeah he watched it we switched roles yeah there you go there you go but actually actually yeah. it's quite a funny story of final fantasy 7 is we had do you remember chipped playstations Yes. Yeah. So they were all the CDs were like illegally made yeah, and stuff, yeah, yeah. and we had one, and it was the Final Fantasy VII one, but it had an actual chip in the CD on the CD. On the CD it's not 
sorry, not like a chip as in a microchip. I mean, a chip as in a cut. A, oh, okay. It was okay. broken. It was oh, damaged. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's been Final Fantasy VII. There's a section where you have to dress up as a soldier, and then there's a bit you go outside, and then there's a cut scene where it shows you the city, yeah. and then you take control and you go into the next yes. bit. The chip on that disc wouldn't load the cut scene. So you just keep walking and you'd be stuck and the game wouldn't continue. Oh, what? so it just never... No, I could never get any, get any further. So I played Final Fantasy VII up until that point, near on a hundred times and that's no exaggeration. <laughs> I was able to... And you just thought that's where it ended. Yeah, I was like, I did. Set. Yep, yep, I thought, well, at least they're all alive. <laughs> <laughs> to answer the question, Final Fantasy VII was my first. Nice. <laughs> up until... Halfway through this. Halfway through half of Final Fantasy. <laughs> Mine was Final Fantasy VIII. So that is controversial. Controversial. A lot of people uh, slate on Final Fantasy VIII, mm -hmm. um, and I think that's because that's probably because Final Fantasy VII was revolutionary. It came mm. out. Everyone loved it. And yeah. then Final Fantasy VIII came out. Maybe not as good. It was different. It was different. And, it was but different. people had come to expect this mm -hmm. Final Fantasy VII, and because mm -hmm. it wasn't that, it suffered. Now, for me, it was my first ever Final Fantasy. Yeah. I found it in that car boot sale. I took it home. I read the manual on the way home. <laughs> oh. Looking at all the artwork. Miss their manuals. <laughs> you get them nowadays, don't, you do you? don't. You just get a gift card. Yeah, for... reading all the instructions <laughs> yeah. and the background. And who is this character that I'm not going to meet until the second disc? I got it home and I played it. And again, it's very similar to what yeah. you did with Final Fantasy. Then. I did not complete eight. In fact, I still never completed eight. <laughs> um, I was so young, I was about eight or nine or something. So I didn't understand the whole GF function system. Yeah, so yeah, I got yeah. home and I just started playing it. And I did all the things and I got to like, I don't know, maybe a third disc, mm -hmm. I'm not sure. And then all of a sudden I just couldn't get past a certain point. And it's because I hadn't played the game how it should be. <laughs> I was like level 99 across the board. And I was like, great, What's I'm gonna idea? go in and tank and smash and, no, I got absolutely <laughs> annihilated in every turn. We've discussed our first Final Fantasy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about the first Final Fantasy you ever completed? Mm. Well, considering there was a scratch on the disc, yeah. <laughs> couldn't complete seven. <laughs> And I will firmly state that that was the reason, not because I wasn't very good at it. Um, so, no, the first one I completed was eight. Oh. It was eight because a couple of years later I was able to get my hands on a copy of it. And because of what happened with seven, I was so determined to blast through it and complete it. And I was older, so I was able to understand it a bit more. I could. Yeah. Were you confused by the credits rolling at the end going, the other yeah. One? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, where's, where's the frozen Why didn't movie it just bit? Stop and I just have to turn it off and start again. Yeah. For yeah. me, uh, it was a long time before I completed a Final Fantasy. Yeah. It, was a, it was a long time. Yeah, I don't yeah. think I completed my first Final Fantasy until 12. <laughs> I was always late to getting a console. Yeah. So I was never the first person to have a PlayStation. So I didn't have a PlayStation 1. Mm -hmm, I had a PS1, mm -hmm. you know, it had the smaller. Mm. It was a smaller design. And and then I didn't get a like, PlayStation 2 for ages yeah, yeah, and things yeah. like that. So I was always late to the to the game and I used to watch friends playing stuff and things like that. So yeah. I think when I finally had the PlayStation 2 and I actually got Final Fantasy 12 because it came out and I was like, oh, I've got the console, I can get it. And I bought it and I, a friend at the time, we'd go on dog walks, we'd discuss the game much like we are doing now. Mm -hmm. um, nothing changed. Nothing changes. <laughs> and we'd discuss it and we'd talk about how, how far we've got, what boss we're up to and who's going to get further and oh, was that bit easy? Oh, like, no, that was fine. Yeah, I just smashed that by using this weapon that I found. And just, <laughs> and just like trying to get one up on each other. Yeah. So there was that air of uh, competition, uh, competition yeah, yeah, yeah. competitive nature that sort of spurred me on to, to try and compete it. And yeah, so that was the one I, I definitely completed first. Okay, I've got a question. What games have you not completed? I played and completed one. Uh -huh. I've done the first series, it's my first online series. I've not I've not even played two, three, four, or five. Not played them at all. So I'm quite excited to get it. Building yourself up a case here, aren't you? <laughs> You're a Final Fantasy fan. <laughs> now, I've not completed six. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, you know, sometimes when you play a game, you get to like the final boss, and you mm -hmm. just don't do the final boss. And yeah, you just, yeah, yeah, yeah. A, you pro I probably lost against the final boss, and then was like, uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I lost it because that last little stretch sometimes is sometimes be grueling. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I haven't, I haven't completed six. I also haven't completed seven or eight. In fact, it's been a long, long time since I've played either. <laughs> Maybe I should have asked, what ones have you completed? <laughs> <laughs> I've played a lot of the more, the more recent ones. Now. This is going to offend you. I've not even played nine. <laughs> I've not played nine. 
I have no idea about nine. It's I don't know why. It just completely has slipped under my radar. Mm -hmm. Ten I've completed. Mm -hmm. Ten two I've completed. Mm -hmm. Never played any of the MMORPGs to be honest. No, 11 or no, 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 neither never. So it's a different. It's a different it's thing. A it's, different it's a different commitment. So <laughs> if anyone has got any advice Please. on what to do with these games i don't even know where to begin with the, the online games yeah, like is there any point in doing 11 yeah now that 14's out does it yes. override it is it I, a thing yeah like, what 12 i've completed in fact i actually think i completed the um the sequel to 12 the game boy advance revenant wings uh, oh dear <laughs> i think i actually didn't play even complete that of course you did of course you did well, um, <laughs> Yeah, it was the first game I'd ever completed. That counts then. Oh, that counts. Makes um, up for the beginning ones. 13 I've completed, 13 2 I've completed, uh -huh. not done Lightning Returns. Right. Then 14, obviously not played, and then 15 I've completed. But I haven't done all the DLCs. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I wanted to save that for a, a full playthrough yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. It's difficult with the DLCs because. It, it's entered you know, a different field, yeah, it's entered into like a different financial field where it's like, pay this much for the game, yeah. and then these bits for the DLC, and I'm like, mm. oh come on, don't, come yeah, on, come on, yeah, like what better. happened to, be here's better. the whole game. I mean, I can forgive it with the Final Fantasy VII remake, they are so huge. because they are doing it justice, and if they put it all into Spoilers. one, it wouldn't be the same. Spoilers? Oh, oh come be, on. Might not be very good at all. It might. Good point. Good point. It's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. Don't play it. Don't play it. Um, so there's the games that I have played mm -hmm. and not played. Mm -hmm. You've played them all, haven't you? I have played them all, except for I'm gonna be honest. Most of the spin-offs. Oh yeah, I've never done tactics or anything like that. No, 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 no. But I mean, in terms of like, I've done 13. I haven't done 32. I haven't done Lightning Returns. I just edited it there. Um, I haven't done some any. Some might say that was a good thing. <laughs> some might, some might. Um, yeah, I've played them all. Played 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Not done 11, 14. Uh, done 12. And done 15 as well, but without the DLCs. So yeah. Yeah, yeah I've, I've done them all. I think I've. Who knows what he's talking about? Okay, to finish off, we're going to talk a little bit about our favourite moments in Final Fantasy. And it can be anything. Mm. The smallest, tiniest thing to the biggest, grandest cutscene mm. set piece that is in yeah. the games. Um, KB, do you want to start? It's hard. It is it's thing. hard because it's there's so quite a few. Moments. And I'm, I'm conscious of the fact we floated around the same era. Mm. Which can't be helped can't be helped the no. game's very very different it's i think there's a couple of ones that i want to give special mentions to okay. <laughs> without mention, maybe please. mentioning yours the world ending in six of course i think like it was a great moment. turns it on its head and it's great a bad guy winning exactly mm -hmm. exactly a couple of moments in four that come out of nowhere don't want to spoil too much <laughs> but some characters i'm like oh no and then obviously there is the death in seven yeah Yes, obviously. which is huge, but that's too obvious an answer. Yeah, everyone... For me, it is the battle of the schools in six. That's... Six, eight. Oh, eight, I was about to say. eight, eight, eight. The battle of the that schools in eight. Eight. That is six. It's when the schools just. Ju that whole that section. That is very cool. Even up until the death, like, not the death, the, the final battle of disc two. Because yeah. that's where it comes. And you, the second you are driving through that forest, and then you stop and you're like, what's happening? Have I glitched? And then it goes to put these binoculars on and have a look. From then on out, it is epicness. It is just, a, a 10 out of 10. You know what? I, I, I will not agree with you. So uh, <laughs> I've got something else to talk about, but that is amazing. Yeah, it's, it's just all of it. I cannot wait. How it's built it up, again. how, and like I said, even when you get in the school, yeah, it lulls a bit, mm. but you then go and have this final battle that is really hard mm. at that point in the game if you're not prepared enough. Yeah. That last battle yeah. against the Dea is really hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then gets justified and then all the stuff happens. And you're like, oh, we've reached a new level of this game. Like mm. it's, yeah, yeah it's, it's, that it's for me, whole of it was just brilliant. Blew me away. I'm going to go controversial again. Oh, God, here we go. And <laughs> it's because, I think it's because it comes in a game that's not as, not as impressive and as the other ones and you have been so shut in for so much of the game that when this happens it was a real finally yes moment mm -hmm. and it was mm -hmm. it was helped along by the fact that they had beautiful graphics and stuff like this mm -hmm. is when you go down to grand pulse on 13. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you've been playing this linear 
motion of going through and you're constantly running and you don't know what's going on and it's you're not always getting attacked and it's just like what's happening on you just split apart and you're getting these stories and you've had these new people come in and then this happened and then you land you're somewhere completely different yeah, and then yeah. this world just opens up yeah. in front of you and you get to see the massive monsters walking around in the back on the, the mountain mm -hmm. in the distance that's mm -hmm. alive mm -hmm. and you see all these things and at that time I can remember just being like wow. whoa yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. this is incredible more so than 10 and even 12 it was just so big mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These, these, they were just enormous mm -hmm. And it was that moment I can remember being like, wow, this is cool. Yeah. This is really yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. And I was still in the stage of going for the dog walks and talking with my friends about that. And I can remember we we both hit on that at the same time. Yeah. We were like, whoa. Yeah. I can remember just meeting being like, did you do it? They play this yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah, and it yeah. was just yeah. insane. It's because for all of 13's faults, it's got some great it's faults. its biggest fault with it being linear is what gives it the biggest payoff. Yeah. Because it is a straight line mm -hmm. for the, first two thirds of the game yeah, yeah. once you reach that point it does massively oh, open wow. up ironically it does the opposite of what 15 does, yeah, does 15 opposite. starts you off massive. with look at everything and then it narrows down which because, oh, you actually need to pay the story. Yeah, yeah 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 so no i i get that i get that and i think that was one of my favorite moments i agree with you <laughs> that the schools is yeah. so good yeah but there was something about when i first got down to grand pulse i was just like this is the Final Fantasy I've been waiting mm -hmm, for. Mm -hmm. Here we are. We're in the we're in the open world, and we're going to mm -hmm. venture around. And it had that same thing as when you first enter the open, the the overground in like Final Fantasy VIII and mm -hmm, stuff like that, and mm -hmm. running around to the mm -hmm. to Fritz Cave. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, or that mo moment in Seven when you're stood on the end of that runway, yeah, runway motorway, yeah, call it, and there's the open world. Yeah, you know, just it's, know, it's, yeah, it's those ones. I think mm -hmm. because Thirteen just had these beautiful graphics that were. Like 12 had lovely graphics, but they weren't quite as integrated yeah. as you got with 13. Yeah. It was like you literally went from the cinematic and then you suddenly, you basically started playing. Yeah. And it yeah, looked yeah, almost yeah. identical, whereas you still had that that separation yeah. in 12. And yeah. I think that was, that was a really cool moment. So that's the end of our little intro there. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed finding out some stuff about us and how we got into Final Fantasy. Um, let us know what what brought you into Final Fantasy? What are your favourite mm. moments? Your favourite summons? Your favourite characters? Yeah. Your favourite games? Yeah. Or, alternative, your least favourite <laughs> game? Let us know down in the comments. Give us a like. And if you really enjoy this stuff and you want to follow along and see where we go on this epic <laughs> journey, hit the subscribe button and, and come and join us. I've been Bodog. And I've been KP. We'll see you next time.